Most creators end up spending 90% of their time on everything except actually creating content. I know exactly how it feels to get stuck trying to find clips from your long form videos, resizing them for different social media platforms, and coming up with captions, timestamps, and so on. It's super frustrating because you're trying to put out more volume of content like everybody is telling you to do so in the YouTube advice videos, but you are stuck trying to make your own thumbnails and coming up with your scripts and Again, just trying to repurpose your content even on different platforms. But what if I told you that there is a new AI tool that came out, which is going to be able to do this for you in a couple of minutes, and it doesn't actually require any sort of high level technical skills to be able to use it. I'm talking about Riverside's new AI co-creator feature. Essentially, it's like having your own content team on your side and having like a creative assistant, but they work 24 seven and you don't have to pay them a full-time salary. The main purpose and promise of this new feature is that you can take your finished recordings and turn them into a bunch of different promotional assets and marketing materials within a couple of minutes by simply chatting with the AI and just asking it for what assets you're looking for and the best thing is it can create multiple different types of assets for you for all the different social media platforms it can create clips it can even make blog posts from your videos and turn them into twitter threads if you want or even create a thumbnail for you whatever you want from it it can most likely create it for me this feature is huge because i'm already recording a lot of my content within riverside because it's a great platform especially if i'm ever doing some remote interviews i always use riverside side for that to get the best quality possible but with this feature i don't even need to be switching between a bunch of different platforms i can just use co-creator to get my promotional assets from that main piece of content in a couple of minutes in a conversational chat where i simply tell it what i need and it gives it to me let me show you how it actually works in practice. So here I have one of my student interview recordings within Riverside, as you can see, and it's a 22 minute and 51 second clip. And of course I could go ahead now and click here on edit and manually start, you know, editing it up and clipping it within Riverside, but they also have this new co-creator feature that I'm talking about on the right side. And you can see it has a bunch of different suggestions that you could choose from in terms of what it can actually do from you. So for example, let's Let's just go with a simple example. I want to get a highlight clip from this interview. I can just click here on highlight clip and it's going to put it into the chat, create a highlight clip, uh, highlighting, and then I have in here, you know, the uh, different topics that I actually covered in this interview. So this is super cool. Like it automatically transcribed the whole uh, video for me. It understood what are the topics that we actually covered in this remote interview. And I could choose right here, which topic I wanted to create a highlight clip from. So let's say I want it to be from the impact of mentorship and community on personal growth. And then I can just click here, submit it, and it's going to immediately find a section that fits that topic that I chose and turn it into a clip. And you can see it creating it real time and it's actually super, super quick. And if I wanted to, I could click here on edit and make further adjustments to it. But let's say I wanted it to turn it into a 16 by nine video. Uh, I can just tell it to turn it into a vertical format and add captions as well. Then I just submit this. And just like that, it turned this entire clip into vertical format, perfectly laid out. And if I would click on it and start playing it, it would also have captions on top just like how I asked it to do so. Now, if I would want to change, for example, the location of the captions, let's say I want it in the middle and not here on the top, I could just click here on edit. And then after that, it takes me into the editor and I'm able to change the location of the captions and the looks of it super quickly by just simply coming right here and dragging it in the middle. Um, and I could change the color, the font, the size and so on. And same goes with making any adjustments as well. So that is just one example of how you could use it to get highlight clips from it. Let's do another suggestion as well. For example, I wanted to create show notes for me so I can put it in the descriptions. I'm going to choose the platform that I want the show notes for. So I could choose Spotify, YouTube and Apple podcast. I want show notes for YouTube and now it's going to make the entire show notes from this interview. And I can just go ahead and put this into my description. Let's say I wanted to have timestamps as well. I can just tell it, uh, please also give me timestamps with the different topics covered throughout the interview. And just like that, I got very accurate 
uh, timestamps exactly showing me what we are talking about at each part of this interview. All right, now let's do a bit more of a difficult one. Let's say I wanted to create a Twitter thread or an X thread about uh, one part of this, let's say about the challenges and strategies in pricing and marketing yourself as a freelancer, um, which is a topic that we covered throughout this interview. I could just, again, choose this part, click on submit, and now it's going to make an entire Twitter thread and break it down into multiple tweets for me about this specific topic. And it's actually really good because it used the exact advice that I was talking about in the interview as well. Now let's also get a title suggestion for this entire interview. So I asked it to give me five options for episode titles. And you can see these already sound pretty good. For example, Rico's journey, uh, mastering video editing in months, uh, the rise of Rico from beginner video editing to expert, um, Rico's path to success. So these are all pretty good titles that I could use for this sort of uh, interview format. Now, let's say I wanted to create a cover for the episode. So I'm going to tell it, uh, make a cover image for this podcast episode. Then I'm just going to click on submit and you will be able to see that it can also spit out an image for you, not just text or clips. All right, so just like that, it made this cover image for me. Uh, talking about, you know, Rico's journey with video editing. If I wanted to make more adjustments to it, I could also say it here in this prompting box. And it's simple as that, right? So I think you kind of get the idea. Uh, it's really cool how you can get multiple different type of assets from that specific video that you just finished recording within Riverside. And also the great part is that it has the full context, right? So it has the entire video transcribed and it's going to give you very accurate assets based on that. So to summarize it, here's what I really like about this tool. First of all, it can save you a lot of times. It sometimes will take you a couple of minutes, let's say to get a full on description with all the timestamps instead of even hours, right? So it can save you a bunch of time for sure. It's also an all in one solution. So instead of having to switch between a bunch of different platforms, you could technically record your content within Riverside and then get it edited and also get the different assets that you need from it all in one place. You don't need to switch between a bunch of different tools. It also understands platform specific optimization. So it's not going to make a clip for you the same way if you are asking to make it for YouTube or if you're asking to make it for short form. And the same thing with the text based uh, content as well. You can choose what platform it's intended for and it will do a different uh, variation based on that. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and you found this tool interesting. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can click the first link in the description description down below where you can get started for free and try it out for yourself as well. I really hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next video. If you're interested in trying out Riverside, you can use coupon code VINS at checkout and get one entire free month on the pro plan.